In this video, I'm going to show you how to factorise quadratics where the number in front of the x squared, the coefficient of x squared, isn't 1. Okay, so I'm going to show you a method that you can employ to do this. So, let's have a look at number 1. 2x squared minus 9x minus 5. A lot of people will automatically go into opening up the double brackets and trying to find the numbers that will make it work. This method that I'm going to show you in this video um, allows you to do it in a more methodical way. So what we're going to do is multiply the 2 by the minus 5. So you multiply the coefficient of x squared by the constant term. So 2 times minus 5. That gives me minus 10. Now what we're going to do is try to find two numbers that multiply together to make minus 10, but add together to make minus 9. So, two numbers that do that is minus 10 and 1. Because minus 10 times 1 is minus 10, and minus 10 plus 1 is minus 9. And so they multiply together to make minus 10, but add together to make minus 9. And so, when we have this minus 10 and this 1, what that means is that I can split the minus 9x into minus 10x, and 1x, or just x. Okay. Now it doesn't matter which way round you write these, you could write plus x minus 10x, it doesn't matter. Okay. The next step will be the same. So this second step involves looking at two halves of this expression. So we have the 2x squared minus 10x, and what I want to do is factorise that. And so, I would have to have 2x outside of the bracket, and x minus 5 inside the bracket. Then I want to factorise the second half. Now, because x and minus 5 don't share any factors apart from 1, 1 is the only factor that I can bring out of a bracket. And so this is one lot of x minus 5. And so what you can see is that both halves should have exactly the same bracket. If you don't have the same bracket, then you've gone wrong. So one of the brackets in the final answer is x minus 5, okay, as shown. The other one is made up of the 2x and the plus 1. So factorised, this is 2x plus 1, x minus 5, okay? So we didn't need to do any kind of trial and error along the way. So let's look at the next one. First step, multiply the 12 by the minus 6. So 12 times minus 6 is minus 72. So we're looking for two numbers that multiply together to make minus 72, but add together to make minus 1. Okay, That's what we're looking for here, the minus 1 that's in front of that x. So that would be nine, uh, minus 9 sorry, and 8. So minus 9 times 8 is minus 72, and minus 9 plus 8 is minus 1. And so that's going to work. So we can split the minus x into minus 9x and 8x. Okay, so minus x is now minus 9x plus 8x. We then look at the two halves and factorise. So this half, I would have 3x outside of the bracket, and 4x minus 3 inside the bracket. And over here, I would have to bring out uh, 2, and have 4x minus 3 inside the bracket. Now I know things are going well, because I've got exactly the same bracket there. So 4x minus 3 is one of the brackets, and the second bracket is made up of the 3x and the 2. And that is the factorised form of that quadratic. And that's how we can use this method um, to factorise quadratics that would, might take us a long time to do it by inspection. 